you were you wrote about the WrestleMania stuff for as it stands today, and you wrote that Charlotte and Rhea is as of right now or as of you last heard scheduled to be the main event for night one, which on the surface I think going into the show I was like yeah I can see it, but based off of the creative I feel like Charlotte is really really cold in, in what she's doing as a babyface and but you also wrote that it was for political reasons and I was I was kind of wondering is the the political reason of well we have a men's title yes. match so okay so that so that's, that's it's not that would be the that's the reason yes okay yes. okay so we, we we have to have a I mean you don't have to have a women's main event but if the idea is is that if the real main event I mean, you don't have a Steve Austin because, you know, if it wasn't for Steve Austin, you know, Ronda Rousey was going to headline last year's show. So the the idea is that um, or, um, or what? Yeah, I think it was Ronda, right? Wasn't was it Ronda? That was Ronda and Charlotte. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the deal probably is, is that, you know, if there had been, you know, a Steve Austin or something like that, that that, you know, you know, that, that you know, we, where you ha- almost have to main event them. It's one thing, but when you have the men's tag team title versus the women's world title, um, it just uh, you know I think that that's probably you know and nobody told me that directly. I'm just like kind of just trying to figure it out myself because I think obviously the the hot acts going into WrestleMania are are Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes, Sami Zayn, and Jey Uso. So Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes are the main event on Sunday. So you would think that the Usos against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn should main event Saturday. And and in the end, maybe they will, because, you know, like it, like the stuff is always decided at the last minute or changed often. But, um, you know, I think that that's probably just the reason is, you know, again, um, you know, a women's world title and a men's world title type of a thing. Yeah, I can see them i can see charlotte and rhea having a, a really good match um it just seems that the build to that and maybe some of it is because rhea is also with the dom and, and ray stuff but um it's 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 pretty cold and it feels cold from the charlotte side like just her and adam pierce like there's no real i, I i'm not feeling any well they're on different uh, any brands. fire from her they're on different brands and Rhea's big thing is not so much challenging Charlotte, but being involved with Dominic and the Dominic and Ray thing, which I think Dominic and Ray is a very hot feud right now. Yeah. But th- I mean that th- just, if we're talking about heat, it could, that, that could main event the show. Cause so many, people but they won't, I, they, 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 they won't, they, they won't, they won't, I, you know, I shouldn't say they won't because anything's possible, but I don't see them putting Dominic in a main event. If he, even though, even if he deserves it, it's like Sammy. Mike Sempervivi here with you for the next hour talking professional wrestling, which is something we do every single day here on this program. What kind of mustache did Vince McMahon have? Well, goddamn! If you had questions about my mustache, you just had to ask! My God, Vince, is that you? Hell yeah, it's me! What are you doing in my chair, kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah listen, I'm here, everybody, for a moment. You are. Because I know the only thing that anybody cares about is this stupid mustache story. I get a text. He's back, LOL. First, I was told he was snuck into the building. I started getting messages. Dude, he's got a mustache. You ever seen uh, uh, Gomez Adams from the Adams Family? That's what his mustache looked like. And he also had jet black hair. I got a sale to facilitate, so I'm out of here. Shave that thing. Oh my God. Wrestling Observer Live. I went to Rite Aid. Oh, no. And uh, they had, uh, I don't know, that. I think it was by L'Oreal or something like just, that. Just for men. This right. is apparently not to be used to color all of your hair black. Uh-huh. So I got home and I just... <laughs> I start running the water through my hair and, like, I can't even get my fingers through my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I washed my hair like seven, eight times. Until it fell out? Finally, I was like, dude, I got to cut my hair off. This stuff is not coming out. (laughs) I thought I was so clever making fun of him and spoofing his mustache and dyeing my hair black and going in there looking like Vincent Price. And what happens in the end? I end up having to shave my head because of this guy. I think Vince watches this show every week. He goes into the archives. He watches the Retro Raw. He follows along with us. Okay. And he was watching this show and he saw old Burt Reynolds. 
man, he saw Ron and Sheer marking out for this guy, and he was like, that's the secret, a mustache. And he went out and got a blonde with big boobs. I don't know about that one. Oh. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.